Oh, damn it. It's trying to get rid of the wobbly bits. We're out here today on one of the most difficult locating spots, a wind farm, a wind generating farm. The power out here is usually over 31 kV, a super uh, lot of voltage. It's all grounded. You got a big grounding grid all the way around that. And so if you try to hook up directly, you're going to end up igniting the grounding grid. It's going to mess up your magnetic field to kind of pick up this way. Plus, you really don't have an idea which way the cable's going, so you don't know where to ground anyway uh, with a direct connect. And if you did get directly connected, using a low frequency is going to get interference from the high KV. And using a higher frequency as well is going to work only so far. So using 8 kilohertz, like in this example here, we can maybe get 500 foot and we're out of signal. If we got to locate from here all the way to the, to the next wind generator, then we're not going to get all the way there on a hookup. So we have to do it inductively. Trying to use power mode um, is not the best because it's not a clean 60 cycle plus there's usually a three phase in there. So you don't get a clean power signal or uh, um, a signal directly over the line. Go ahead and go to power. No, they repel each other. I heard one here. One over here, one right here. So we're... Okay, so if I set the transmitter here, and then he's going to be able to... I'm going to use 33 kilohertz, 33 hertz. Set it down here, and just, just giving you a rough idea where it's at. You know, it doesn't have to be directly over the line here. We'll find it after he finds it up there. And then he's going to go ahead and, and pinpoint it here. Really noisy as we get close, but compass, no arrows, everything lining up really well. Just kind of straight into it. So now that I, I saw where he located the line out, and I know where to put the transmitter box on this side, he'll now continue on this way, and uh, off we go. Yeah, if I, if, in order to get a good depth, I got to be far enough away so he doesn't pick up my box, and he picks up only the cable, and so I'm going to stay at least this distance, 50 foot or, or more, probably around 60, 70 foot. And I just pay attention to where he's locating and try to just follow the same track. And when I just get this done, you pick it up good? Yeah. All right, let's get it. So I just hold the transmitter somewhat close to the ground. You don't have to bend way over. This has a really good induction coil, so i mess him up for a second, but you can see how big that induction coil is on there. And as long as that's staying vertical to the actual cable, it's inducing that 32 kilohertz into the cable. I'm staying close enough to him to get a good signal all the way through. It, it thinks that you have to have two people to do this, but you get a much better signal than if you're hooking on up there because you're keeping the current higher all the time. Plus, you're applying the current further away from the transformer and all the noise. Give us a call anytime, but hopefully that answers most of your questions. Um, just we're Travis and Brent with Subsurface Solutions. Give us a call if you have them. Have any questions? Thank you.